Hi, everybody. My name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And we are the Who in the Tour YouTube channel. We are very excited to have you guys today. We are doing the Torah series where we are going through and we are finding the commands. We are diligently seeking them out as we are told to do. We are told to write them in our hearts, minds, and souls. And that is what we're doing. We are going through these. We're figuring out what applies to us today, what we can do, what we can't do, what is Levitical, what is not. And so this is this is our mission is to go over the Torah and write on our hearts to have a full, completed list because... We want to show people that it is not hard to do, that it is something simple, that there's not a million commands that you can't keep, that things are easy, things are simple. So that's what we're doing. All right. Eli, how you doing, buddy? Good. How, how was your day of shepherding cows yesterday? Um, pretty good. Pretty good? They, they can move a lot. They move a lot, don't they? Yeah. Nicole, how you doing? I'm good. Everything good? Everything's good. And you didn't burn yourself cooking breakfast? No. Nope. All boys, good? Boys are fed. Boys are fed, and they're fed, and they eat a lot. You guys eat a tremendous amount. Do you guys realize how much you guys eat? Uh, probably. I didn't realize how much teenagers actually eat until I actually started feeding it. I thought it was a, a myth. I thought it was a myth. I don't remember eating this as a child, but obviously, since I'm a big, big, big feller, I must have. But um, you guys Bottomless eat a lot. Bottomless pits. Bottomless pits. Yeah, it is. And most of them are in shape, I would say. Um, at least two-thirds of everyone here is in shape. Um, we will see what the future holds for all of us and as we get everyone into exercise programs but yes thank you guys very much for joining us thank you everybody out there our little little two and a half three foot table is a um is extended out to you guys if we could put a leaf in it we would definitely put a leaf in it we're pulling up chairs right here um if you entered into our place here's a big old grizzly bear hug to all of you guys Thank you guys very, very much for spending this time with Yah and for spending time in his Torah. So let's get into it and let's see where we are at. And I will begin with... All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Handy dandy split screen. All right. And then we are starting right here. Eli is my little wingman on one side. I got Caden to my left. Jade right across from me. Nicole is diagonal. And uh, I'm right here. All right. Here we go. Numbers eight. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Aaron, and say unto him, When you light the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light over against the menorah. And Aaron did so. He lighted the lamps thereof over against the menorah, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And this work of the menorah was of beaten gold. Unto the shaft thereof, unto the flowers thereof, was beaten work, according unto the pattern which Yahuwah had showed Moshe, so he made the menorah. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take the Levium from among the children of Yashrael and cleanse them. And thus you shall do unto them to cleanse them. Sprinkle water of purifying upon them, and let them shave all their flesh, and let them wash their clothes, and so make themselves clean. All right, is your guy say anything other than shave your flesh? Why just shave all their body? Shave your whole body. Shave your flesh or it just sound like you're like cutting your skin off. So if this is dudes, um, I would assume they're going to be shaving their legs as well. I guess they would shave their armpits and they would shave everything. I suppose. And it says pass a razor. Pass a razor? Mm-hmm. So they had razors back then, huh? That's interesting. I, I didn't know. Form a knife or something. I'm sure it's probably some... It's probably I feel like, like this was like, like, razors. like... Almost like a renewal for them, right? They cut all their hair off because like they're like leaving all their... Like uh, wicked cells behind. It's like they're uh, cleaning. This is their entering of like the holy work. Hmm. So like like they like basically you start new, you grow out their hair again, and but under like a new system under y'all. Yeah, I mean some dudes have a lot of hair on their backs. So I mean if this is the case, I don't know how they're gonna actually shave their back. I don't know how how this would actually work. They're probably gonna have to have somebody help shave part of their backs, or else they'll probably end up cutting themselves and end up breaking Torah. So I don't know. All right, let's go on eight. Then let them take a young bullock with his oblation, even fine flour mingled with oil, and another young bullock shall you take for a sin offering. And you shall bring the levium before the tabernacle of the assembly, and you shall gather the whole assembly of the children of Yashrael together. And you shall bring the levium before Yahuwah, and the children of Yashrael shall put their hands upon the levium. And Aaron shall offer the levium before Yahuwah, for an offering of the children of Yashrael, that they may execute the service of Yahuwah. And the Levium shall lay their hands upon the heads of the bullocks, and you shall offer the one for a sin offering, and the other for an ascending smoke offering unto Yahuwah, to make atonement for the Levium. And you shall set the Levium before Aaron and before his sons, and offer them for a offering unto Yahuwah. Thus shall you separate the Levium from among the children of Yashrael, and the Levium shall be mine. 
And after that shall the Levium go in to do the service of the tabernacle of the assembly, and you shall cleanse them and offer them for an offering. For they are wholly given unto me from among the children of Yashrael, instead of such as open every womb, even instead of the firstborn of all the children of Yashrael have I taken them unto me. Hey, anyone have any idea what's going on? So I think this has to do with a lot of... Um, he chose them basically as the firstborn to have the tribe of Reuben. He chose the tribe of Levi. So why wouldn't Reuben end up with uh, the, the firstborn? So well, he, it, it begins from the uh, beginning where uh, Reuben defiled uh, his like handmaid, his, like, his concubine that he got with Rachel when he felt bad for his mother and he got cursed. And if you read in Jasher, it actually says that when he cursed him, he said he split up the division. He said the priest division went to... Uh, Levi, the king division went to Dave, or uh, not David, but Judah, and the uh, the uh, just the birthright went to Joseph, and that's how we separated everything. So we get it from like almost like a generational curse, or which is the, now they are the priests instead of where Reuben was supposed to have everything. Those are the Levites. It would have been the Reubenites. It would have been the Reubenites. And um, we have dogs over here going crazy. Okay, um, interesting. All right, so seventeen. For all the firstborn of the children of Yashrael are mine both man and beast. On the day that I smote every firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, I sanctified them for myself. And I have taken the Levium for all the firstborn of the children of Yashrael. And I have given the Levium as a gift to Aaron and to his sons from among the children of Yashrael to do the service of the children of Yashrael in the temple of the assembly and to make an atonement for the children of Yashrael. There shall that there be no plague among the children of Yashrael when the children of Yashrael come nigh unto the sanctuary. So is this like how he uh, sanctifying your firstborn since he chose the Levites of all the rest of Yashrael? Is this how you sanctify them? You're, it's like Levi was the firstborn. So you're basically they become priests and that's how you sanctify them? If they're uh, Levi? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone have anything? Kate, do you have anything on this? Um, <clears throat> I mean, no. it appears for whatever reason that Levites are, I mean, they're being set up as the firstborn. And 18, mine says, and I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn of the children of Yashrael. Right. For all instead? What does it mine say? Mine says instead of the first, firstborn Yashrael. That's what mine He says chose too. the Levites. Okay, right. So he sanctified, I mean, he's basically sanctified that tribe instead of the firstborn. So to me, that feels like he uh, chose Levites over Yashrael. And those, that's how he kind of like the firstborn. So a Levite must be, you must sanctify him to become a priest. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have answers for that. I'll, I'll be the bobblehead today. I'll just bob up and down. I don't know. All right, and Moshe and Aaron and all the assembly of the children of Yashrael did to the Levium according unto all that Yahuwah commanded Moshe concerning the Levium. So did the children of Yashrael unto them. And the Levium were purified, and they washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them as an offering before Yahuwah, and Aaron made an atonement for them to cleanse them. And after that, and after that went the Levium in to do their service in the tabernacle of the assembly before Aaron and before his sons, as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe concerning Levium, so did they unto them. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, this is, this is it that belongs unto the Levium. From twenty and five years old and upward, they shall go in to wait upon the service of the tabernacle of the assembly. All right, so Mike says this applies to the Levites. The Levites right. From twenty years old. Twenty years old. Or twenty-five. 25. 25. Oh, 25. Yeah, 25. And so it, it applies, but it belongs. I mean, same, same kind of thing, I think. Okay, and so 25. And from the age of 50 years, they shall cease waiting upon the service thereof and shall, no, and shall serve no more. Now, before that, we had age 20. Right? Did yeah. We, prior to this, we had age 20. Now it we're at 20. It was age 30, remember? Oh, it was age 30. It was 30 to 50. Yeah, now it's 25. Now it's 25. A little bit younger. Yeah. But did, what changed on this, or what, what are we looking at here? Maybe um, it's different things that they can do starting at age 30 this or is At 25 years old, they come into active, active service in the service of the tent of appointment. Yeah, so whatever it is, is 25. So maybe you guys aren't mature until you're at least you're 25. Do you guys feel like adults? Uh, uh, some, not, not, some days. Not all the time, no. It's like, uh, definitely make it to childhood. When you guys get schooled by dad, do you guys feel like adults? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike 25 yeah. says they shall retire from warfare and of the service. Warfare? Uh huh. They ain't doing retire. Warfare. They shall retire. So. Retire from warfare. Uh -huh. They are in well, warfare. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare right there. They're not like in the war. Of yeah, war. it is. It's even, that's definitely the priests of Yah. That's like the warriors of, of spirituality. I mean, that's like definitely war. I would see it. I can see that. All right, 26. But they shall minister with their brethren in the tabernacle of the assembly. 
to guard the watch and shall do no service. Thus shall you do unto the Levium touching their charge. Okay, so I don't understand what I just read there. So it's saying that when they become 50 years old, they will only help in the tent of the meeting. Oh, okay. But they shall They do will guard the watch, but they will not do the actual service. So basically, they, they mentor the younger generation. Right. And mine says, but shall do no regular or heavy service, but they shall direct the Levites in the regard of their duties. Well, that's good. They keep the older people around to like... To teach the younger mentor ones the, what to do. Make sure they don't go to strange or like doing strange no fire. No strange fire. What are you doing, drunkards? All right. All right. Um, I don't have anything else. This was... Um, I don't exactly understand this exact thing. Maybe I'm sorry of Elohim. I know you're like about three weeks late on these, so I guess um, maybe whenever you do watch these, you can probably toss in and let us know exactly how this went down or if any of you guys know exactly how this went down or, um, you know, some of the specifics and details and stuff like that that we do not have. We will have obviously put it in as comments and, and read it next time. And um, so if anyone has anything out there, uh, it'd be great. And so I have nothing. I hope, uh, yeah. you guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Yeah, no commandments found. So uh, Yeah, no commandments found. Short and sweet chapter. I guess we'll all go out there. Boys, watch out for snakes. Yeah, That's and tonight we're doing Youth for Yacht in Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, no people that only speak Spanish are trying to learn Torah. Tonight they can uh, join us in Proverbs. Yes, it won't be live, but it will be um, we'll record it around 5-ish and premiere it around 6. And um, our time, which I don't know what time that is across the world. So whatever that is... Um, Take a look for it, and this week for sure, if you guys don't forget, Thursdays is the Youth for Yah. We also have a Telegram group um, that is, uh, you guys can join. It used to be just for youth, but it's for, for everybody. It's for the people of Yah. And so if you guys want to join in that Telegram group, uh, I will post a link at the bottom of this. And I will also post a link to our backup channel. We set up a backup channel because sometimes we get a little rowdy. And sometimes YouTube doesn't like truth. And so they will ban you and kick you off. And so I don't want to miss days of this where we go seven days with a strike or have the channel completely terminated. So in the bottom of the description also we'll put our backup channel. And if you guys would like to subscribe to that channel um, so you do not lose track of us, that is where we will be up until we can no longer speak truth on YouTube. And I think that is it. Anyone have anything else? Uh, read your Bibles. Read your Bibles. Pray. Seek the, seek the Father where he may be found. Seek the kingdom and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. Alleluia. All right. Alleluia. All right. All right. Shalom, everybody.